as of late, a lot of you have reached out to me and struggling with the question of how do I set up my ClickUp? How do I build this hierarchy? What should spaces, filters, task list, what, how, what? So today we are going back to basics and I'm gonna show you how to simply start setting up ClickUp, what should be what and how you make ClickUp's hierarchy work for you. Hi everybody, I'm Yvonne Hyman with AskEV.com and I'm a business efficiency consultant for digital entrepreneurs. And if you are ready to streamline your business, to scale your business and to do less while making more, go hit the subscribe button so you get notified every time I upload a new video. Now, today, let's go back to basics. And I know this conversation has been around for a while, but it has been continuously coming back up again. And especially with a couple of features that are being discussed, this might just bring it up again. So let's start in the beginning. ClickUp has a workspace, which is pretty much your account. Maybe one of those days they're finally gonna change that naming convention because the next thing under that big thing of your account is a space. That's where a lot of problems often happen simply by the language of workspace and space. So to get all of this squared away and make this really clear, a ClickUp workspace is your account. It's the whole thing, it's everything. So when you hear workspace, just think account. Now a ClickUp space, is where the actual hierarchy is happening. It's that overlaying thing where you put things in. Now to give you a visual, I have just finished the new freebie. You can go grab it in the description below that will help you wrap your head around the actual hierarchy in ClickUp. So let's start a little bit dry here and then we're gonna head over to ClickUp and I'm gonna show you that in an actual use case scenario. Right here, as I mentioned, workspace, that is your account. That's the whole thing. Now underneath there, we have spaces. The easiest way to explain a space and how to to set them up is think of it as your department. You're gonna have admin, you're gonna maybe have HR, you're gonna have clients, that is going to be a space. Now, little disclaimer here, if you are, for example, a marketing agency and you are offering a lot of service and a lot of things to your clients, your client might become a space. If you are on that level and you don't know how to structure it, go reach out to one of the vetted consultants, go reach out to me and we will help you with this. This right here is really getting started. Now for our quote, normal people, <laughs> We are all normal, but I had to throw it in there. Your space is going to be the department in your business. Underneath that is your department focus. So for example, let's use the easy one. Clients is always the easiest one. You have one space for clients, then the folder underneath that is each client. Then within those folders you have, you can have, a bunch of lists. You might have one list, you might have multiple lists. Those lists are your focus area. So for example, with a client, that might be client to-dos, client calls, client assessment, those kind of things. I will show you a use case scenario on how that looks in ClickUp in just a second. I just wanna really give you that groundwork before we dive into the nitty gritty. Then in these lists, you have the actual tasks, you have subtasks up to seven levels deep. Do not. Do not go crazy on those. Please, if you are not a major corporation, you do not need to go seven layers deep on subtasks. Two, maybe three. Don't do more. Please don't. And then also within those tasks, we have checklists. That is the hierarchy in ClickUp. Now let's head on over to my ClickUp and I show you how that actually looks like in a use case scenario. As I mentioned, the easiest usually to explain how the ClickUp hierarchy works for you is in the example of clients. And what you can see right here is I have a space for Ask EB clients. My clients underneath there are folders. You're right now in my client template folder, actually. So that is a example client, my template, whatever, some filler content. Underneath that, we have an assessment list, we have a training list, we have a to-do list, and we have a call list. Now here's a little pro extra. I have this list that's 
overlaying list within the folder. All the lists, all the tasks in those lists funnel up into this folder. Think of a folder right now as a collection of all of your lists. So everything that's happening in those lists in that folder will be brought up into the folder and you can look at all of it. Now, I don't want to see everything, which is why I have set up a filter that chooses by location. So it's a location filter that is not two locations because I don't want to see the training in here and I don't want to see the calls in here. You will, however, see an assessment when that is been done as well as the to do because I am really tasking my clients to get their stuff done. With that, every client already starts out with three tasks. They need to message their team to send out the assessment form that we are using, share the training that I share with them so that the team can get their basics done too as well as request the free vetted consultancy that we are getting from ClickUp for them so my clients don't have to pay for an extra seat. Now, what does that mean? Think of it as big buckets. The big bucket, everything is your workspace. This whole thing, everything is your workspace. Then we do have those different spaces that you can use as you please, but try to think of them as departments, as things that belong together. Then within those, we have folders. Right now, folders are only a collection of lists. Now, ClickUp is working on actually bringing features to folders, but that's in the future. We're gonna have to wait maybe a quarter or two for that to actually release. So it is what it is right now. The lists are your collection of tasks. So what do you want to focus on within that folder? And then you have the task where the actual action items happening. Now, I mentioned just a minute ago in the beginning of this video, this is a standard approach for medium-sized companies. Now, if you are a major marketing agency, a big corporation, whatever it is, you might need a deeper layer. So the moment you are running into, God, I wish I would have subfolders, which by the way are coming out at some point, but we don't have them right now. But the moment you hear yourself saying, oh my God, I wish we would have subfolders. That is the point when you need to shift everything one layer up. Now, what does that mean? In a big agency that is offering TikTok marketing and blog posting, and you have clients that need to be taken care on the sales page of things, of the marketing side of things, and all, yeah, so many things. That's when you move that up one layer, and now your clients become a space the department becomes your folder, meaning the folder now is sales, communication, marketing, and then you have the actual focus as a list underneath, meaning that is client A, marketing, and then we have TikTok, and we have Facebook, and we have community, and we have communication. So to bring it back around, usually for medium-sized businesses, your spaces is your department, the folder is the department focus and the lists are the department's focus areas. The moment you were like, oh my God, I wish I would have subfolders, you move that whole structure, one app, make the client a space and funnel everything else down so you have more room to build those buckets and get all of your stuff taken care of. But again, if you are building ClickUp that big and you are struggling with the structure, Go reach out to me, go reach out to the vetted consultants and let us help you because chances are there is a lot of things that you're gonna have to pay attention to, not just the hierarchy. Now, having said that, if you are still around, first of all, hit the subscribe button and the bell so you get notified every time I upload a new video. And secondary, I have a little bonus for you. If you go into the description of this video, I have a little handout for you right here that will help you look at the whole hierarchy, how does this work, but also help you lay out your first space and make this easier. So go grab that one and I'll see you next time I upload a new video.